We are here with TJ Dillashaw getting set for UFC 158 coming up on Saturday night. And uh, TJ uh, fighting here in Montreal. I believe you were up here uh, in Montreal cornering someone. Weren't you back at 154? No, I was in Toronto cornering Joseph and then uh, in Calgary cornering uh, Uriah. Is this your first time fighting in Canada? Yes, first time fighting in Canada, first time in Montreal. Okay, you've got uh, Issei Tamora, who's uh, actually, at the time we're recording this, it was his birthday today, oh and boy. flew all the way over here, so <laughs> not a memorable birthday, and uh, I guess you're not, you're not planning to give him much of a present on Saturday night. Uh, no, absolutely not. Yeah, he's definitely not getting a present. He's getting beaten. <laughs> tell us a bit about uh, the run you've been on. I mean, j just looking uh, dominant of late, uh, tell us just a bit about uh, coming off of the, the Ultimate Fighter show. You had that very controversial loss, but since that time, I mean, uh, just looking great inside of the octagon and someone that is uh, quickly uh, rising up the ranks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just uh, continue to do what I was doing before I got on the show, too. I mean, I owe it all to the team I'm training with. You know, they brought me up really fast. I've only been doing MMA for a little bit over three years now, and uh, I've made leaps and bounds because of it. You know, I learned what to not what not to do and what to do um, to cut the corners, you know, and I uh, thank them for it. You guys recently uh, just had uh, Dwayne Ludwig come down uh, working at Alpha Males, uh, the head striking coach. Tell us a bit about uh, working uh, with Dwayne and what he, he's added to, to you guys. Oh, it's awesome. Um, it's almost like going back into college again and going into wrestling, having a head coach that holds you accountable, uh, picks you apart, does game plans. You know, we've we've had coaches, we've had fighters coaching fight, fighters uh, until we got Dwayne, and it's just nice that, uh, to have someone that's as serious with his job as you are with yours. Um, you know, we've had some striking coaches that have been great, that have, uh, you know, taught me a lot, but no one that's um, gone to as depth as he has and, and, and is, knows as much as well. You know, he's a great technician and awesome coach. And we expect to see some of the, these techniques uh, come out on Saturday. Absolutely. You know, he's uh, he's already done a lot to change my game and uh, tighten me up, and uh, you're going you're gonna to see some good stuff. Now, I don't think we're exactly giving away any strategy here by saying that the, the wrestling edge here, I think, leaning towards uh, TJ Dillashaw here. Um, with, with Tamora, is that something uh, you look to kind of exploit on Saturday? Oh, I mean, I'm going to look to exploit on everybody. I mean, obviously, I feel like I have a really strong wrestling background, and, uh, you know, so they got to respect that. If they don't respect it, they're going to get beat by it. Um, you know, you got to know what you're good at, know what you're bringing into the cage, and uh, don't get away with it. You see a lot of wrestlers uh, learn how to strike, and they forget to wrestle, you yeah, know? Sure. So I'm going to use my wrestling to strike and strike to wrestle. Where do you feel that, you know, a win puts you at this point? I mean, as I mentioned, you've been on qu quite a bit of a roll right now. We know Hennon Brown's defending that interim title in June. Uh, but do you think that you're, you're kind of at that top mix at this point now at, at 125, 135? I, I believe so, absolutely. Um, you know, I'm just going to continue that run, and I think 2013 is going to be a big year for me and uh, break into those top rankings and get some big fights. Right. Well, we are very much looking forward to it. My final question to you, um, to someone that, uh, of course, wrestling such a, a key part of uh, your fighting style, uh, the Olympic decision here. I'm sure you've been asked this many a time here, but uh, uh, just tell us a bit about your reaction. Is, is this stunning to you as someone that th this will not be part of the Olympics potentially in 2020? Yeah, it's sad. I mean, it's really sad. I mean, especially for what it does for, for kids. It's a, it's a sport that anybody can do. You can be poor and do the sport. You know, all you need is... You know, I need a pair of tennis shoes even, you know, anybody can wrestle and uh, it's one of the first sports that was ever created. So it's it's kind of crazy that it's even in subject to being cut from the Olympics. And, uh, you know, it's just sad. Do you think had it not been an Olympic sport, it would have maybe deterred you for, from getting into it initially? Do you think it will hurt some people getting into it or will there be enough of a base for it in the U.S. that there's still going to be a lot of, uh, of guys that want to get into wrestling at a young age? I still think in the U.S. the wrestling will be fine because collegiate wrestling is completely different than uh, um, the Olympic wrestling. You know, it's going to affect the world big time. But uh, the states will still have their collegiate wrestling, and uh, I think MMA is going to keep it strong as well, you know, knowing the importance of it. And uh, we've got a lot of kids in the area that, you know, they're addicted to it and know that it's gotten us as far as it has. And, uh, you know, I think it'll be, I think it'll be safe in the states. Well, we are wishing you all the best, TJ, coming up on Saturday night, UFC 158. It's TJ Dillashaw taking on Issei Tamura.